Hey friends, uh, welcome to another reading vlog again. Um, week three, wow, I can't even believe that I'm doing this again. I'm very proud of myself. I, You guys have no idea because the footage never came to light, but I have filmed so many clips for various reading vlogs throughout the last, like, I don't know, year or so, and then I just throw them all away and never post them. So the fact that I've posted two reading vlogs, I'm starting a third one right now, is just fantastic for me, and I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> I made, you know, a promise to myself that I was going to put more effort into my channel because I've been on booktube for four or five years now, or it will be five years, I think. Um and I have not been consistent for a very long time. Like I was consistent when I first started, um, but I just was putting very little effort in the last couple of years and I decided that I was either gonna go all in and like really put some time and effort into this channel or I was gonna stop. And I, I realized that I enjoy booktube and I enjoy filming and um, talking to all of you guys. So here I am, week three of vlogging weekly vlogging i actually really enjoy it it's really kind of fun uh last week wasn't so fun but i have confidence that this week will be better um i just wanted to hop on here when i left you guys last week i was reading first we are four by alexandra serrar i'm 200 pages 220 pages into this now um i'm still liking it i will say that the it's still a YA thriller. Like, I don't know how to explain to you. Like, I told you guys it's about this group of misfits from in high school. There's four of them. Two guys, two girls. And, you know, they just have each other. They don't really have anybody else. They're outcasts. And they decide, like, they're in their senior year of high school. The main character, Izzy, like, is trying to figure out a way to keep them all together because they're about to all go off to college and she's afraid things will never be the same again. So they come up with this, like, secret society and they were focused on, um, like, rebellious acts but not really anything bad and now they're, like, focusing on, um, revenge and like the dynamics of the friend group are changing like I said it's two guys and two girls and so oh and also they're like obsessed with this cold case that happened in their town so when they were younger they came across this um murdered girl and the police force there just like swept up, swept it under the rug so they're trying to figure out who she is because they don't know who she is and what happened to her while also like coming up with a secret society and not letting their classmates know that they're the secret society, they're the people that are making all of these things happen around town. So, it's interesting. Uh, I will tell you, there's been two instances now where um, they use the R word, um, and it's not, they're not calling each other the R word. They are, and I feel like a child saying R word, but I don't want to say that word. Um, it's a derogatory term for mentally handicapped. So, um, if you didn't catch that, but it's, they're not calling anyone that it's, they're like reliving a memory where one of them was called that. And that's happened twice now. And like, I get, actually, I don't get it. I don't think um, this book was published in 2017 and it just doesn't need to be in there. It, every time I read it, like makes my skin crawl. I don't like it at all. I think it's just not necessary at all it, it doesn't add anything to the story like you can come up with something else to call someone so yeah so that's that I'm enjoying it still um I don't know what's gonna happen I it'll probably end up being like a three-star read for me you know it's nothing like I'm not loving it but I'm not hating it it's, it's just fine you know it's just okay so yep I'm gonna go do some stuff and uh I'll check in with you guys a little later so it is a uh, late Thursday night. I'm just getting ready for bed, but I just finished. We were four. Um, and I wanted to tell you guys about it. So I could have had it done yesterday, really, but I was bored. And I really, like the last like 200 pages, I was kind of skimming, honestly. Um, I wasn't really paying attention that hard. It just, 
just not for me. I don't know if it was the writing. I mean, I have two other books by this author, so I'll probably try something else by her. But if I'm not liking it, I'm just going to DNF and get rid, of, get rid of what I have by her because I don't want to waste my time. And I honestly almost DNF that one, but I was already halfway through it, so I just decided to suck it up and maybe I was going to like it more. Um, I did not. I didn't like it. I don't know, I was just bored. I didn't care about the characters. I didn't care about the plot, but it was boring. And then there was like this love triangle thing kind of happening. Ah. The characters were annoying. They were boring. I didn't like any of them. The way it ended was just like, okay, great. You know, like I just, I wasn't excited about anything. I just didn't like it. It just wasn't for me. Um, I read some reviews and I feel like people really liked it or they just felt like it was kind of so-so and I that's where I'm at like it was just okay um, saying that though I mean I don't like YA thrillers typically so this is why mystery thriller I guess suspense maybe I don't know um, yeah so it'll probably be end up being like a low three-star read once I put it through the rating system I don't know I'll let you guys know I also read a little bit more of this, The Missing Years. Um, I read about 80, I'm about 80 pages in now, so not very far. It's okay. Um, you know, things are starting to like get a little bit more like spooky and like I'm getting like a gothic vibe from it, which is great. Um, so I'm hoping that I enjoy it, but <sighs> I just feel like I'm not having a great time reading so I'm hoping the next thing I pick up whether it's this again or something else maybe I'll pick up Wondersmith because I feel like that's for sure gonna be like a high star rating for me probably five stars really and I'm gonna really enjoy it I need something that I enjoy because I'm feeling starting to feel a little slumpy um, and I have a lot more books that I need to get read this month so that's not gonna work um, but yeah so I'm gonna get off here go to bed and I will check in with you guys once I read something tomorrow. So I don't think I've updated you guys in a couple of days. It's Saturday night and um, I'm just going to finish planning out my videos that I'm filming tomorrow. I'm going to film a five star predictions video, which I've done in the past, but then never did anything with it. So, but 2020 is a new year. My channel is, I'm doing many things here and um, I'm happy with. The results so far I mean I've filmed or I've every week this month so far I've posted two videos and so I'm I am on track and I'm really excited I haven't updated you guys since I finished first we are four by Alexandra Sorari I think I, in that clip I say that it's gonna be like a three-star read like low three-star it actually ended up being a two-star read on call pile so and really it should have been a two-star read I just I didn't like it I there was nothing, none of the characters I liked, maybe one person I kind of liked a little bit, but like not really. And um, I didn't like the storyline, wasn't in love with the writing, um, there was really no logic. <laughs> so, and I just didn't enjoy it. So, two stars I think is fair. Um, and that's why I love that system, because I would have given it a three star probably, if not for that. So, love that. I've started Wondersmith by Morgan, or by Morgan Girl. <laughs> no. I've started Wondersmith by Jessica Townsend. This is the second book in the Nevermore series, and I'm about 85 pages in. I'm loving it, which I knew I would. This story is so great. It's so magical. It's everything that I need right now, honestly. I just, I just love it so much, and I think everybody should read it. It's just so damn cute. So good. And then I'm also still reading The Missing Years by Lexi Elliott. I think I'm about 90 pages into this now. Um, you know, it's just like really slow to start. I don't remember if The French Girl was like that because I read it so long ago, but like it's just really, really slow to start. And so it's taking me a long time to get into it. I just need something like more upbeat, but I'm kind of just forcing my way through it because I don't want to DNF it because I think I'm going to enjoy it eventually. I just have to get to that part of the novel and I have not made it there so I think I'll get there eventually so um yeah tomorrow I am gonna film I'm gonna do some editing I think Molly from Mind of Molly is doing some more reading sprints that start at one o'clock my time 
so I'll probably join in on those because Lord knows I need them. This is only my second book of my TB uh, my TBR Pursuit TBR. This would make three, which means I have three more to go, and it is the 16th of the month, so uh, I have a lot of reading to get done. Yeah, and then I also would like to bake some cookies tomorrow. I've really been wanting to make chocolate chip cookies for a long time and I have all the ingredients. I finally bought bought them and I just have yet to make them. Plus I got a KitchenAid a couple months ago and I've only used it once so I really want to use it. Um, so yeah, I think filming, editing, reading, laundry, and baking cookies are on the agenda for tomorrow. Tonight I'm just going to finish planning out these videos so I don't have much left and then I'm going to read until I go to sleep. So, I'll update you guys. Um, I guess when I have something to say. I mean, I don't really want to say too much about this because it is the second book in a series, but I kind of want to talk about it in the vlog. So, maybe if I do that, I'll just tell you guys that it's spoilery so you can, like, skip over this part if you haven't read the series yet because it's still pretty new. Um, so, yeah. All right. Hey, guys. Um... I'm just wanting to hop on here to close out um, the vlog. I know the last clip that you guys are going to see is me talking about how I was getting ready to like uh, settle in for the night and read. After that clip, um, I did start reading and then I got a phone call. I know in the last vlog I spoke about how I had a family member who wasn't doing well, who was in the hospital and we weren't allowed to go see her. Um, I got a call last night that things were not looking well. And I didn't think that she was gonna make it through the night. Um, so obviously I didn't read. But this morning I got a call saying that they were gonna allow us to go in and see her um, two at a time. But we had to like come up there right then. So I uh, just rushed up there so that I could say goodbye. I did make it in time. I did get to say goodbye to her. I did get to see my family. I've been with them all day. Um, the first time that I've been with that many people um, since quarantine so it's been a day it's been a really rough day I mean it was my aunt um, I didn't say that in the last vlog for privacy reasons it just felt like I shouldn't but now that she's passed I think I can say that um, she did not have COVID and she just got sick so I just wanted to hop on and tell you guys like this is why the vlog is ending so abruptly and um, I will vlog again next week probably I would assume I don't know I just need to take a few days to uh, grieve to process uh, my aunt was the glue to the family she's gonna be missed she's gonna be missed I'm gonna end the vlog here and um, hopefully, you know, soon um, the vlogs will be better because right now they're not great, but uh, there's a lot going on and I didn't want to just not post because I'm trying to hold myself accountable and I know you guys don't care and I probably could have just skipped the vlog and it wouldn't have been a big deal, but I can't do that because if I start doing that, then I'm going to stop posting again and I don't want to do that. I'm probably going to end up throwing myself into my job and this channel because that's just how I cope, uh, which is why I've been vlogging and, and trying to read um, for the past week. Um, it was such an emotional roller coaster. I mean, very up and down. She was okay. She wasn't okay. We were going to lose her. Then things changed and uh, oh my god. It was like every hour I feel like something changed. Now we just have to learn how to live without her and how to heal. We have to start healing. So I'm going to go. I appreciate every one of you guys watching this and I will talk to you in the next one.